the wait is almost over. If you thought the Nikon Z8 was the pinnacle of camera technology, think again. I'm named from TapTech. And today we're breaking down the leaks of a camera that is set to shatter the industry standards, the Nikon. Z8 II. We're talking red color science, AI processing like we've never seen, and a sensor that might just end the megapixel war. Let's get into it. Asterisk the Nikon Z8 didn't just change the game. It practically rewrote the rules for what a compact professional camera could be. It earned the title of Mini Z9 and became the workhorse for thousands of wedding photographers, wildlife enthusiasts, and high-end cinematographers. But the industry moves fast. And with the recent release of the Canon R5 Mark II and the looming shadow of the Sony A1 Mark II, Nikon isn't just sitting back. They are preparing a successor that doesn't just iterate, tinsimates. Today on TapTech, we are diving deep into the confirmed leaks, the strategic upgrades, and the groundbreaking technology behind the upcoming Nikon Z8 II. If you've been thinking about upgrading your kit, or if you're currently holding a Z8 and wondering if the grass is about to get greener, you need to watch this until the very last second. We're talking about a sensor shift that could redefine resolution and a partnership with red that is about to change Nikon's color science forever. Let's start with the heart of the beast, the sensor. While the current Z8 sports a magnificent 45.7 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, the rumors for the Z8 II are split into two very exciting directions. The first and, perhaps most likely is an ultra-refined version of that 45 megapixel sensor. But with a drastically improved readout speed that virtually eliminates any remaining rolling shutter. However, there is a second, more aggressive, rumor circulating among industry insiders, a 61 megapixel stacked sensor. If Nikon goes this route, they aren't just competing with the Canon R5 II. They are aiming straight for the Sony A7 RV's resolution while keeping the speed of a flagship. Sports camera. This would make the Z8 to the ultimate hybrid enough pixels for massive commercial prints, and enough speed to capture a bird in flight at 30 frames per second in full RAW. But hardware is only half the story. The real magic lies in the brain of the Camara, the Xpeed 8 processor. This next generation chip is expected to debut with the Z8 II and the Z9 II. It's offering double the processing power of the current generation. Why does that matter to you? Two words, artificial intelligence. We're looking at an AI-driven autofocus, a system that doesn't just recognize subjects, but predicts their movement based on deep learning algorithms. Imagine a camera that knows exactly where a soccer player is going to turn before they even do it, or a wildlife setting that can lock onto a bird's eye through thick brush with zero hunting. Now, let's talk about the red elephant in the Room, as many of you know, Nikon recently acquired Red Digital Cinema. This is the most significant acquisition in the history of digital photography, and the Z8 II is expected to be the first standard body to truly reap the benefits. We are hearing reports that Nikon is integrating RED's proprietary internal compressed RAW codex and, more importantly, their legendary color science. For the filmmakers watching TapTech, this is a drop everything moment. Imagine having that red look, that organic filmic skin tone and highlight roll off inside. A Nikon body that fits in the palm of your hand. We are likely looking at 8K 6OP unraw internal, but with a new red cinema color profile that could make post-production grading a dream. Ergonomics have always been Nikon's secret weapon. The Z8 was praised for its feel, but it wasn't perfect. For the Mark II, we expect Nikon to address the two biggest requests from the community. First, the screen. While the four-axis tilting screen is loved by photographers, many hybrid shooters are demanding a fully articulating screen for easier vlogging and high-angle vertical shooting. Rumor has it, Nikon is working on a hybrid hinge similar to what we've seen on the Sony A7RV that offers both tilting and flipping capabilities. This would satisfy every type of creator. Second is the thermal management. Even though the Z8 handled heat well, the Z8II is rumored to feature a new internal magnesium alloy structure that acts as a massive heat sink, allowing for unlimited 8K recording even in the peak of the Texas summer. But what about the speed demons? If you're a sports or action photographer, you're looking for those impossible shots. The Z8II is rumored to push the boundaries of pre-capture. 
Currently, we can capture moments before the shutter is fully pressed, but it's limited to JPGs in many modes. The ZA2 is expected to allow for full raw pre-capture, ensuring you never miss the exact millisecond a lightning bolt strikes or a bride begins to cry. Combined with a rumored 120 FPS burst mode at a reduced resolution, this camera will be a literal time machine. For the premium market, build quality is non-negotiable. The Z8 II will likely retain its weather ceiling that exceeds the standards of almost any other brand. Nikon knows their users are taking these cameras into the Arctic, the Sahara, and onto professional film sets. To expect a refined grip, perhaps. Slightly deeper for better balance with those heavy S-line telephoto lenses. And potentially, the inclusion of a dedicated AI mode dial or button to quickly toggle between different subject recognition profiles. Let's address the competition. Sony and Canon have set the bar high. The Canon R5 II broad eye control, autofocus, and Sony's AI chip is legendary. But Nikon's strategy with the Z8 II seems to be flagship for the masses. By taking the best parts of the upcoming Z9 II and putting them in this smaller, more agile body, Nikon is creating a value proposition that is hard to beat. You're getting 95% of a $6,000 flagship for a price point that is expected to sit. Right around the $3,999 to $4,299 mark. So when? Can you get your hands on it? Based on the typical four-year refresh cycle and the current production leaks, we are looking at a late 2025 announcement. With units hitting the shelves in early 2026, this lines up perfectly with the next big wave of professional sporting events, where Nikon will want their latest tech in the hands of the world's best photographers. If you are a Z8 owner, should you sell your gear now? Or if you're a DSLR holdout, is this the moment to finally jump to mirrorless? The Z8 II represents the peak of the first era of mirrorless technology. Right. It is the convergence of high resolution, incredible speed, and cinema-grade video. Not just a tool. It's an investment in your creative future. Asterisk the Nikon Z8 II is shaping up to be a monster. But I want to hear from you as 61 megapixels too much, or exactly what you need. Drop a comment below and let's discuss. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay ahead of the tech curve with TapTech. I'll see you in the next one.